Lady Tom Rabbit. I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there. Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Okay, uh, hey again, guys. It's Tom Rabbit here, and uh, I have another video for you. This one is really funny. Um, it's starring the rising star, Enlighten, who has seemed to have um, embraced his flying monkey status um, and renamed himself as such. And this video is from after Enlighten pretended to be J Mike. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check it out. But for those who have seen it, um, it seems like Enlighten came to a realization uh, that impersonating J. Mike or lying might have been something that he shouldn't have done as a Christian, almost as if it was a violation of the Ten Commandments even. So let's look at Enlighten while he tries to rationalize why what he did wasn't really that bad. Uh, do you guys brand me a liar? No. No? Where would you get that idea? I don't think you should have lied, but I, I don't brand you a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how J. Robin instantly knows what Enlighten's talking about. This is the day after, by the way. But Tonlock is playing dumb. What? 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 Liar? About what? Should have lied. Uh, should have lied to who? About your about the. I don't think you should have said. I don't think you should have uh, said the thing about you know being J Mike. Said I am J Mike. I don't think that was okay. But you know, I don't. I, don't, I think that was funny ultimately. Yeah, in the group. Yeah. I mean, that's a different conversation. That's a conversation it? for another day. So. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not. Look, we, we can talk about that outside. I thought, I thought they give. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's different. That's different. Translation. Uh, well, this is actually something that you're kind of dead to rights on. So let's not talk about it. Yeah, um, I do think that that definitely they had a good. You you trolled them good though. Like that was. <laughs> yeah, they deserve it. They've done they, it they to us really, so many times. Yeah, you trolled them good. You trolled him good. Congratulations. You did a great job lying. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, Can we get any atheists yeah, no, no to problem. defend atheism? We want an atheist or, to come forward. And or still man our position. Okay? Someone to still man our view. Because it seems like every time we ask um, the atheists to represent our view accurately, they just cannot or will not do so. By the way, Tom, uh, did you see the new video uh, with Darth and me? This is later, so Enlighten really has this guilt that he's feeling. He he really wants to revisit this. He he needs some kind of he needs people to somehow rationalize it with him. So he brings it up again. Did you see that one? I didn't, I didn't see that. No. Okay, it's just pretty much me admitting it. Well, I mean, it's obvious they found out about it. I mean, was there much for you to admit about it? I mean, it, no. It's just Darth messaged me. Uh, he messaged me today, and he said to me, you know, I, as much as how funny that was, and I have a lot of respect for you, he he messaged me. He goes, like, just don't don't do that again because they're gonna find that they're gonna think you're a liar. I don't know who he meant. I, I'm assuming the atheist. Well, no, he he has a legit point. I mean, it was. This is funny because if if you remember, Darth also did something similar. Darth uh, on a stream, he tried to punk all the atheists, and he played a recording which um, he pretended like he 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 accidentally turned his webcam on, and so he deceived everyone, right? So maybe Darth has learned something from that little public relations debacle. The, the trolling, you know, the banter is, is hilarious, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was a falsehood. So I mean, it is it, it, it is sure. what it is. For sure. Do you think he meant like the atheist? What? That you know? Uh, hold on, let me read that to you. I he goes like this. He goes like just please. He goes like you're a bad boy. Lol. Please don't do that again, though, ever. And he goes like, I'm serious. I said, okay, you didn't think it was funny? And he goes like, no, it was funny. 
<laughs> you're a bad boy. But they were they're going they are going to brand you as a liar. I didn't know who he, if he was talking about the people that were in the room or you guys. Hey, he's talk no, he's specifically talking about you. They're going to brand you as a liar because of the fact that uh you did have the to, atheist? You Yeah, the atheists are going to brand you as Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. He's in DMs with Darth. This, this really sh is so telling about really what motivates these people, right? He's in a DM conversation with Enlighten, right? Who just broke this sacred commandment, right? And instead of addressing at all, hey, you shouldn't do this because thou shall not lie or thou shall not bear false witness. It's, it's instead we're getting, you should not do this because it's bad PR. The atheists are going to brand you a liar, etc. What the heck? It's a liar because you concealed who you actually were. You were actually someone else pretending to be another person. Right. And, and I mean, the, the bottom line is that is a lie. There's no way to get around that. And so they're just going to, you know, jump all over that. And, and you know, you're never going to hear the end of it. That's what he's trying right. to. No, I know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not taking it personal. I know that he cares, and he he's just he's letting me know that. And I... Darth don't care about you. <laughs> he cares about any kind of secondhand uh, PR relations that might come from this, because you know you're a self self proclaimed flying monkey, right? He don't care about you, Enlighten. I'm not complaining about. It. I just wanted to ask you what you thought about it because i know you're you're you've known darth way before i i was in uh but at the end of the day hey I, I i guess i took the line that christ said do on to others as they do on to you so but uh, uh. <laughs> so okay hold on a sec so the justification for him doing something that's uh a sin is that if it's done to you you can do it well, that's not quite an accurate representation of that. We don't I have know, to that's discuss. A bit out of we, context there. We, we don't have to. We don't have to go into too much details right here. We could discuss that. Like the stuff that Enlightenment is, is saying is so bad that Tonlock and and Co don't even really want to talk about it. It's so bad. It's like e trying to even them trying to rationalize it is a stretch. Privately though, I understand. But hey, at least you thought it was funny. That's what matters. There we go again. Remember, this this is very telling. At least you thought it's it was funny. That's what matters. Not bringing glory to to God, not keeping the commandments, not not sinning. You thought it was funny. That's all that matters. Oh man, but it, it but it definitely did expose a whole lot of stuff about their community internally. I mean. They're going after each other's throats because of the fact that uh hold on. Yeah, yeah, they're going after each other's throats because um Tom Rabbit likes to wax on all day long. And I and I, and I, yeah, I, I saw a comment in there that was very, very interesting. I saw this comment on there by this dude saying that he he's he exposed uh Tom Rabbit as a hypocrite and I took a look at it and I'm like, what is it? Well, I like to wax on all day long what is he even talking about i never even talked to this guy i never even really am on clubhouse that often i don't know what he's talking about this guy have to say and then um he says hey tom you realize you're a hypocrite right and then he's and then tom's like well can i be a hypocrite at times yes and then he's like am i a hypocrite to the same degree that darth in uh and um <clears throat> That Darth and his minions are, or Darth and his people right. are? No, I'm not. And then he falls up saying, "Well, hypocrisy is hypocrisy, man." You and he and this is a guy who who respected um, Tom Rapper for the work that he does. So he says, "Look, I mean, I, I respect the work that you've been doing, but look, you 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 went up and hypocrisy isn't just hypocrisy. It doesn't work like that. Like if I if I witness someone beat." Um, assault someone, punch him over and over until he's near death. Um, and then I say, wow, you really, that's bad. You shouldn't have done that. But then 
um, that someone sees me giving another person a Charlie horse and he said, and I, and I punched him in, in the shoulder. That's not, that's not hip, hip, hypocritical. Those are just two completely different degrees, right? It's just ridiculous. To Voss's room, call these people dumb and say, well, I hope you're not running a show about critical thinking. Yeah, and he, that and, was funny. And, 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 and he was like, dude, that seems like something that Darth or his minions would say, as he had put it. So why in the, why in the world are you saying something like that? I, I know. And while, while pretending that you're going to be calling out Darth or exposing Darth, you're recording, yet um, when you were the only one at the time who knew what was going on with the with the J Mike thing, you start right. to call people. You start to call people dumb. You start to make these little snide remarks on the side. Well, let's be honest. Show. Patrick Voss is dumb. And then let's he's like, he's like, you're doing the same thing that Darth does, and he also. I don't. I don't know what's so hard to understand about this. Part part of the reason why Darth, uh, Darth's actions are even registering, um, on the radar of anyone's radar is because he's supposed to be a Christian, right? And we have this idea of what it is to act Christian-like or Christ-like, and it's not anything close to Darth's behavior. Said, what else do he say? Oh yeah, he says, well, um, and I, obviously I don't agree with his characterization, but from his atheistic standpoint, I can see where he was coming from. He was like, oh, uh, well, in my Tom Rabbit's like, am I a hypocrite to the same degree that uh, Darth is? Uh, heck no. And then he was like, well, dude, you, you sound like a Christian who will say something like, well, uh, uh, the Christian is not as bad as an atheist sinner because of the fact sure. that they're saved or something like that. And he was like, You're, you sound like a Christian that's trying to stand on the moral high ground when you compare comparing degrees of what you're not. Right. So, so no, I mean, I even agree. though I don't agree with his characterization, internally from his atheist perspective, I can see what he was talking about because – he thought that Tom Rabbit was, was a hypocrite, and he was the only one that I saw that was willing to directly call out Tom Rabbit as a hypocrite. There was no one else that I saw in his comments that did that. Right. No, I I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I mean, I think we can all agree in here, if you've ever heard Patrick Voss or even ever heard him debate, I mean, he was dumb. He literally believed me, where my voice was obvious. I was not a good in, impressionist of J. Mike whatsoever. And he literally believed it. And he backed me up against Tom Rabbit. So, I mean, the, the guy, I think we can all agree that he's not really a bright person. I think even Darth can agree. All I'm, I'm just saying is like what you did, like expose just what certain people really are like. It exposed who Tom Rabbit really is because, again, he calls himself trying to expose Darth with all these recordings and whatnot. Right. But look, but he's. But, but he's a hypocrite. <laughs> we're, we're reaching. We're really reaching. By the way, it should. It should. It's really telling that. Um, what what they're working with here is that I called someone dumb. Tom, Tom, like, will complain about Darth having followers like us, or certain right. people calling us flying monkeys, as your name says, and whatnot. But there's a bunch of people who capitulate. And basically kiss Tom Rabbit's butt in his right, yeah, comment yeah, I section. Know. I know. Get it right. You guys well, look, all follow. You. Right, go ahead, Matt. You, know, you, you guys all follow me. Get it right. Yeah, yeah. I, I follow, follow you, Matt. Yeah. Even yeah. though that go you didn't come phone. on, you didn't come on the other night. I, I didn't. I didn't want to bring you in. You're too personal to me, brother. <laughs> and I can see that there was certain like infights within his comment section, and there was, and maybe there was, oh, maybe there's been, been some be people ever said, he's yeah, threatening yeah. to be sued. Yeah, uh, and I, I'm kind of happy about that. I, I'm not saying I feel bad for Tom Rabbit that Patrick Voss has uh, taken action against him. I think Patrick Voss is a freaking idiot, but I think Tom Rabbit's also an idiot. Uh, so at that same time, I mean, just to conclude this, because I feel like we don't really need to talk about the whole experience. I get it. Okay, it was fun. It was funny, but shouldn't have done it. I agree. We're all sinners at the end of the day. We do make mistakes. So, I mean, we're not we're not perfect in any means. Uh, and we can disagree on topics on oh, what did this Jesus mean and all that all all night long. Look, we can't change what's already been done. But I'm, I'm all I'm saying is that we, well, sure. we did yeah. we we did ultimately get some value out of it, such as the fact that yeah, they've been like doing it to Tom us. Rabbit himself is 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 not the so called 
um, you know, peaking of standing on a moral high ground that he would claim to be in terms. Sure. What? What? What do you talk about? What have I ever claimed that? I don't. Where? This is just reaching. I'm so he's trying to expose Darth. It seems right. like the very same things he complains about Darth. He's he himself is guilty of. Right. Not trying to make it about me, but I mean the video technically. Look, it's either. Some people hated it. Some people didn't like it. That I I understand that because everybody. I, hold on one I, second. Yeah, Kevin, uh, w one second, please. Okay. Okay, and they, I'll you guys can comment. I I mean I I know that I don't want to keep bringing it up, but I'll just say this: that look, we all make mistakes. I mean, I remember even Darth. Not blaming Darth, but I remember Darth uh, putting a picture up of of himself or making believe that he put up a picture of himself online. And I mean that was a lie technically but it was funny as hell uh oh daddy darth is gonna be mad when he hears that one because darth has explicitly said that it was not a lie so you're calling darth a liar now enlighten better be careful so i mean getting somebody back i mean it might not be been the right way uh but at the end of the day i'm not gonna feel I'm not going to feel bad for the atheists that were in there. I'll say that. It was their fault that they believed it. Um, and, you know, it, it, I, I feel like with, with everything, I mean, you guys were cracking up last night about it. I mean, I understand it, how you feel. I respect it. It tells you, it tells you what you need to know about these people and that um, they, they, ultimately, these people are just sad and hopelessly lost people. They're hopelessly lost oh, individuals. Because when they're not fighting Christianity, when they're not fighting Christians, they end up attacking each other. This is the hopelessness of their worldview. This is well, I, I mean, this might be hard for Christians to understand, but um, I don't subscribe to some sort of uh, thing like they have, where they have this Christian solidarity thing, where... Oh, if we're disagreeing, we can't do it in public. We can't do it. We can't let the atheists. We can't let the atheists see us disagreeing. You know, if we disagree about scripture, then oh, that looks. That's a bad look. Look, I've always thought the same thing. Um, good ideas should should rise to the top, and if it's a bad idea, it should it should be called out for being bad, right? It goes for atheist or theist. That's it is the futility of their worldview because they don't have anything to fight. They start fighting each other. It was a similar um, uh, line of atheists in fighting years ago when um, uh, this, this, this sort of woke nonsense was increasing in popularity in, in society. Like stuff like feminism and all that right. type of crap back in like 2016 17 ish to where that was a big thing at the time and then right. there was a lot of internal fighting with the atheist community about that sure yeah 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 they always got to find something to fight about you know it, it's liberalism it's leftism they're not fighting sure. their political or religious enemies they're fighting each other that's what they do right sure i mean i i agree with you fully on that i mean we could disagree what Jesus said and what he meant by do unto others as they do unto you. I mean, we Christians, we all, at times we disagree with each other, but that's besides the point. I mean, I, I accept what you uh, guys uh, think. Like, I, 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 I mean, I don't, let's just say this. I don't plan to do it again. This was like a one-time thing. I was like, I'm just going to do this one, one time and see what happens. And it happened. I don't, I don't believe that there was any kind of thought like that that occurred at all. I just think he th he he wanted to troll the atheists and he did it. I don't think there was like this deliberation that he was talking about. No, it That's just bad. surprised me that it went as far as it did because I mean, it's I thought, hilarious. Like, how in the world was he the only one who instinctively recognized your voice? That that's just crazy. Bring up to all the scientific minds. Say, look, I was just doing an experiment, guys. A social experiment. <laughs> say what? Just say you're doing a social experiment. Yeah, I was just doing At least all the experiment. rational hypothesis, you know, scientism guys would be like, oh, yeah, we proffer that all the time, you know.
We still like. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna yeah. use your <laughs> argument, man. I'm, when they say, "Hey, in Lang, you're a liar," I said, "What do you mean? I was just socially experimenting." <laughs> I know. It's like I, they can use their own. Uh... Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, in order to, you know, address the sin and the lying that we did, lie again, and that should make things better. Do more lying. Uh, platitudes and go. Look, I can make a platitude fit for that. I, mean, I think that's a, <laughs> you know, I, I think I think that's a good conversation to have about that too. In terms of if you're trying to expose some people, is it considerate lying? Because I mean, secret agents do that type of thing all the time. They pretend to be other people for the sake of infiltrating and getting information and stuff like that. We just want to see if you guys can be deceived. I don't know, Talmak. It sounds like you're talking about consequentialism. But no matter what the consequence or no matter what the good that would come from a secret agent lying, it would still be wrong for him to lie. So I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you, you were. <laughs> yeah. So, I, mean, I, mean, I think I it get, comes I get down. Robin's point is, I mean, I, yeah. I, I think it takes out some of the innocence. That's what's cringeworthy. And like, like it, it, I don't think that Patrick Voss knew who J. Mike was. Right. He so does know actually. Innocent... He knew who he was. I, I think that there were some innocents that were involved and, and some people can't recognize voices, right? Like, sure. and that, that's just the unfortunate piece. And it might come right. up as an integrity issue later, but you know, right. you, everybody deals, you deal with what you do, what you do and, you know, call yourself the asshole first. So nobody else can, and then go about your day. Right. Right. I mean, look, I'm, can I be honest? I, I wouldn't consider my. Kevin, Kevin's advice is not bad. Kevin's advice is to look, just, just own up to it. Say, yeah, you messed up. It's good advice. Let's see if Enlighten takes it. Myself an asshole for doing that. I mean, I personally think everybody in that room uh, are assholes and they've been doing it to us so for forever before I even came in the room. I think Tom Locke and Matt can back me up on that one on how some of these people are have been bashed matching us, but I'm not going to consider myself an asshole uh, because I went into a room and these people were stupid enough to get fooled. And I, I, I'm not saying I'm not, I don't think so high of myself. Okay. But uh, I would think that a lot of people are kind of getting to know me because for the past several videos, I'd say maybe six, seven videos that Tom Rabbit has made and thousands of people have watched, they would know my voice and know who I am. And he's even. Oh, it looks, sounds like enlightened is uh, starting to really enjoy the attention. But uh looks like he's not taking Kevin's advice. He's not taking it at all. Uh, related me to Salacious Crom and everything like that. So, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I'm an asshole because I tricked and atheists were stupid enough to get fooled by a, a bad impersonator. Well, so. I, I had, a, I had, a, uh, I had, I saw something pop up yesterday and but know me because well then I one on how some of these people uh right right I mean look I'm, can I be honest I I wouldn't consider myself an asshole for doing that I mean I personally think everybody in that room uh are assholes and they've been doing it to us so for forever before I even came in the room I think Tom Locke and Matt can yeah there's the justification again right they sinned or they were assholes to me therefore i ought be assholes to them or it's permissible or something so enlighten is saying when they go low we go low back me up on that one on how some of these people are have been bash matching us but i'm not going to consider myself an asshole uh because i went into a room and these people were stupid enough to get fooled and i, I i'm not saying i'm not, I don't think so high of myself, okay? But uh, I would think that a lot of people- Not the only one. People are kind of getting to know me because for the past several videos, I'd say maybe six, seven videos that Tom Rabbit has made and thousands of people have watched, they would know my voice and know who I am. And he's even uh, related me to Salacious Crom and everything like that. Listen to how he, I think he's really getting, he's getting hooked on the attention. He's loving it. So, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I'm an asshole because I tricked and atheists were stupid enough 
to get fooled by a, a bad impersonator. Well, so. I, I had, I had, uh, I had, I saw something pop up yesterday and I'm, I have nothing against Patrick. So I went and I said, what, what's going on? And he, he told me. And so when I got home, I saw the video pop up, you know, on my YouTube scroll. And I was like, uh, the cringeworthy thing was like, yeah, I, I knew it was you. Right. And they didn't, which was weird. Right. That's the like, funny part. Yeah. I, yeah, I know. And it's just like, I was like, ah, yeah, that definitely sounds like enlightened. That's Look, not it's not like I swore. It's not like I swore I at them dude, or cursed I, them out or no, anything. No, 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 no. Like I'm I've not saying that. that. Dude, I look, I'm just saying when, when, when I fuck up, if I know I'm going to, if I fuck up, right, with, with friends or whatever, I, what I'm saying is call yourself the asshole. Like, look, dude, I, I, I fucked up. I, I, it was in bad taste because then everybody can go, then nobody else can say anything to you because you've already said it. And now it's just, yeah, okay, I think I've, what, do you guys know who he is? Kevin? No. no. Yeah. According uh, to this, he's uh, agnostic. So that that's that's pretty typical. He would call me an asshole, but I let <laughs> he he kicked Kevin out because he told him <laughs> that he should admit fault. <laughs> you talked, Matt, yesterday since uh, I've been talking most of the time. I already said my piece on it. It was freaking yeah. hilarious. Punked him when yeah they just do that on a daily basis. One Christian does it once, and yeah. Which I never had any inkling to do anyway. It's merely like, well, okay, they were chorus here. They want to make videos, slice up Frankenstein and stuff. Like, I can't stop them to do that. I, don't, I know he's not talking about me because I don't slice up videos and make them Frankenstein style to where, I mean, do you have something you want to present that, that fits that description, Matt? I don't have people just making, uh, I don't, I don't make people say things out of whole cloth. I don't do that. But I just don't have the time to invent something like, or just, you know, something like that, which you can do quickly. And you just, uh, it was just uh, ingenious to do it. And it's, that's what I say. It's like, if I was just playing devil's advocate here, I go, well, every atheist would have been like, well, that was an interesting experiment. He deceived us. We could pick up on it. You know, if it was blatantly if they really knew their stuff, then they would have picked up on it. You know, but, I mean, I, but I will like, say this. Liar. I mean, Recognize your I, I don't think you pretending to be an atheist and like troll them in this sense is remotely connected to something like lying in a conversation. <laughs> like, well, we can lying just... about what you believe in, like your worldview or something. I don't think those things are remotely comparable at all. Yeah. What do you, what's com what do you mean by comparable? What do you can you explain? I don't know what. Com uh oh, Tom Lock. I don't know if you want to um, hash this out in terms of degree and frequency. You seem to be against that. Like, 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 okay, so you pretended, like, 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 again, like, if a secret agent pretends to be someone else, like a double agent or something like that, in order to extract information or whatever, does that mean that they're lying about basic fundamental things in their personal life, like that they're cheating on their spouses or something? No, no, uh, -uh. yeah, I, I'm just saying, like, they can't connect you trolling them to. You just like lying in normative situations. Like right. you I think he means normal situations, but so apparently there's a scale of lies, right? Okay. You just lying about like basic things. Like if uh again, if you if you um cheated on your taxes or if you cheated on your spouse and something like that, it wouldn't be the same thing. So all I'm saying is, even if they want to call you a liar, dude, he just trolled and pretend to be someone else. It, it, it's not remotely connected. It's like, oh, he, he trolled, he 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 pretended to be someone else, so um, that's going to have some sort of implication on how you argue rationally. No, it's going to have implication on him breaking one of the Ten Commandments. He was bearing false witness, Tonlock. You as a Christian should understand why that's bad. It's a bad thing. If it wasn't important, I don't know why it was written on those stone tablets. It, it, there's just no connection there. That's all I'm saying. Did you get that, Tom Rabbit?